Traveling through the vast emptiness of space, a frozen wanderer from another star system, awakening far from the sun's warmth to unleash a cascade of gases that defy everything we know about comets. On August 6, 2025, that's exactly what happened when the James Webb Space Telescope JWST was pushed into emergency mode to capture a fleeting glimpse of an interstellar visitor named 3i, Atlas. This wasn't just another routine observation. It was a high-stakes scramble that paused JWST's entire schedule, pulling scientists from their desks in a race against the comet's shifting path. Discovered just months earlier by the Atlas survey in Chile, 3i, Atlas is only the third interstellar object known to exist, and its secrets are already rewriting the story of how these cosmic travelers form and behave. We're going deep today into what makes this comet so extraordinary, from its bizarre chemistry to the puzzles it poses about our place in the universe. Keep around as we explore the science behind it all. And if the stars excite you as much as they do me, hit that like button now and subscribe for more journeys into space. The urgency of discovery, understanding 3i, Atlas means appreciating the urgency of its discovery. Interstellar objects like this one are incredibly rare. Only a handful have ever been spotted zipping through our solar system on hyperbolic orbits that scream, I'm just passing through from another star. The first was Oumuamua in 2017, a cigar-shaped enigma that sparked endless debates. Then came to I, Borisov in 2019, which behaved more like a typical comet. And now, in 2025, 3i, Atlas. It was first detected in early 2025 by ground-based telescopes as a faint, fast-moving dot against the stars. By summer, as it approached the outer planets, telescopes like Gemini South revealed something odd. A coma, the hazy envelope of gas and dust around the nucleus, was forming far beyond Jupiter, where sunlight is too weak for most comets to awaken. Astronomers knew they had a narrow window, less than a week, to point JWST at it before the geometry of its path made further observations impossible. JWST's bold observation, on that fateful day in August, the mission control team at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center uploaded an override command. The near-infrared spectrograph near-spec locked onto the comet at 3.3 to astronomical units from the Sun, capturing spectra that would reveal its inner workings. This was no small feat. JWST's schedule is meticulously planned, and interrupting it risked valuable observing time for other projects. But the potential payoff was immense, insights into a world billions of kilometers away, from a star system that could be 7 billion years old, older than our own sun. What JWST found in those precious minutes of data was nothing short of groundbreaking. Chemistry that defies expectations, the comet's chemistry turned out to be dominated by carbon dioxide in unprecedented amounts. Typically, comets are icy snowballs made mostly of water ice, with traces of other volatiles like CO that sublimate into gas as they near the sun. But for 3i, Atlas, the ratio was flipped. JWST measured a CO2 water ratio of about 7.6 to 1, with carbon dioxide production rates eight times higher than water, the highest ever recorded in any comet. By contrast, even the most unusual long-period comets in our solar system rarely exceed a ratio of 0.7. Think of it this way. If a typical comet is a snowball slowly melting into vapor, 3i, Atlas is more like a block of dry ice, furiously sublimating even in the cold. The spectra showed strong CO emission lines at 4.26 and 26 microns, while water and carbon monoxide signals were faint. Traces of carbonyl sulfide and rare sulfur-bearing molecules also appeared. Meanwhile, the coma was thin and ethereal, stretching hundreds of thousands of kilometers with very little dust. This high CO abundance suggests 3i. Atlas formed in a protoplanetary disk rich in carbon dioxide ice, perhaps near its system's CO ice line. Alternatively, it may have endured intense radiation ovaries, depleting its water but leaving CO intact. 
NASA's peer-reviewed study, released just weeks later, concluded the nucleus is likely intrinsically CO-rich, possibly with a crust insulating the water ice beneath. It's a rare glimpse into alien comet chemistry, showing us that not all icy bodies are built the same. The mystery of the metals. But the surprises didn't stop with the gases. Follow-up observations from JWST and the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope revealed something even more puzzling, nickel without iron. As the comet outgassed, its spectrum lit up with strong nickel emission lines, clear signatures at 3,415, 3,524, and 3,770 angstroms, pouring out at rates of over 10 atoms per second by the time it reached 2.85. That is extraordinary for an interstellar object. Yet, when researchers searched for iron, nickel's usual metallic companion, they found none. High-resolution spectra showed iron levels so low that nickel outnumbered it by more than 40 to 1. This is astonishing because in every meteorite, asteroid, or solar system comet studied, nickel and iron appear together in roughly a 115 ratio, reflecting cosmic abundances set by nucleosynthesis after the Big Bang. Even to I, Borisov followed that rule. 3I, Atlas broke it. So, why is 3I, Atlas different? A fascinating laboratory-based explanation involves nickel carbonyl, a volatile molecule that can form in CO-rich ices when exposed to ultraviolet light. It vaporizes easily, releasing atomic nickel, while iron stays bound in less flammable forms. This could hint at a formation environment where nickel was preferentially mobilized perhaps in a carbon-heavy nebula or a disk with unusual processing. Researchers, including ESO members, have verified that the anomaly is not due to calibration errors, cosmic ray interference, or solar contamination. The data holds firm. It's like finding a treasure chest full of gold, but no silver to pair with it. This anomaly challenges our models of how icy planetesimals incorporate metals. As the comet hurtles inward toward Mars at its perihelion in late 2025, teams are keeping an eye out to see if emissions spike or reveal more clues. Now, let's talk about motion, because 3i Atlas isn't just chemically weird, it's brisk in ways that raise eyebrows, too. Ground-based tracking from PAN-STARRS and the Minor Planet Center showed non-gravitational acceleration, a subtle push beyond what the Sun's gravity alone predicts. Over 72 hours, its velocity nudged up by about 0.1 meters per second squared, with uncoordinated, jittery spikes standard outgassing jets from water or CO can't explain it. Comets often get a boost from asymmetric gas release, like thrusters firing unevenly, but this pattern is erratic, almost flickering. Add to that the light curve, observations from Gemini South and periodic brightenings observed by TESS every 7.2 hours sharp and regular, like a rotating beacon, not the gradual tumble of a lumpy nucleus. Models that attempt to fit it as a potato-shaped spinning comet fall short. The period stays locked even as activity increases, defying the torque from outgassing that should slow it down. Data on polarization Another anomaly shows extreme negative values, indicating dust grains unlike anything in our solar system, larger, more uniform particles from a different formation process. The echoes of Aumuamua are clear that object also sped up strangely, with a falling motion that astonished everyone. Harvard's Abby Loeb, who supervised research on that visitor, noted these characteristics in preprints, implying that 3i Atlas could be dust rich with large particles driving the push or even something more exotic, like a thin structure reflecting sunlight. But let's be clear, while these anomalies spark debate, NASA classifies it as a scientific curiosity, not a threat. It's on a trajectory that slings it safely past the inner planets, exiting our system by 2026. To put this in perspective, the story of nickel-rich visitors isn't new. It stretches back to humanity's earliest brushes with the cosmos. Over 5,000 years ago, ancient Egyptians crafted iron beads. 
Analyzes of tiny cylinders taken from Gerza tombs today reveal nearly a third nickel impossible with their crude smelting technology. These came from meteorites, skyfallen gifts with that telltale metal mix. Tutankhamun's dagger, buried around 1323 BCE, boasts 11% nickel and cobalt, confirmed by X-ray fluorescence at the Egyptian Museum, matching iron meteorites with Widman statin patterns. Across Mesopotamia, Babylonian scribes recorded burning stones as omens. Their cuneiform tablets warned of sky metal as both a blessing and a sign. Historians like Heidelberg University's Lydia Balma see in these artifacts a thread of awe. Tools, weapons, and worldviews were altered by heaven-bound metal much like the challenges 3i ATLAS poses today. These ancient encounters remind us that interstellar messengers have always stirred wonder and questions about what's out there. Naturally, excitement comes with misconceptions. So, let's clear a few up. No. 3i. Atlas isn't an alien probe or spaceship. Claims like that, while fun and sci-fi, lack evidence and distract from the real science. The anomalies are intriguing, but they can be explained by natural processes we just haven't seen up close before. NASA's Planetary Defense Office monitors it closely, but it poses no impact risk. Its route is well-drawn. And while the nickel-iron puzzle is baffling, it's not terrifying. It's an opportunity to refine our understanding of exoplanetary chemistry. Peer-reviewed studies from RECs and journals like Nature Astronomy emphasize data over speculation, urging more observations from missions like Spherix, which joined JWST in studying the comet's infrared glow. As we wrap up this cosmic detective story, 3i ATLAS stands as a testament to the universe's diversity. From a coma filled with CO and a metal mismatch to its quirky path, it's a messenger carrying whispers from a distant star possibly billions of years old shedding light on worlds we'll never personally visit. JWST's quick pivot on August 6th wasn't just a technical win, it was a personal one, too. Scientists at ESA and NASA worked together in real time, driven by curiosity that echoes through history. What implications does this have for the future? It fuels the hunt for more interstellar objects perhaps. In the near future, telescopes like the Vera Rubin Observatory will spot dozens annually. It inspires us to ponder how many other anomalies exist, awaiting discovery, ready to disrupt our textbooks. These mysteries make space exploration possible. They inspire us to construct better tools and ask bolder questions. If this sparked your imagination, drop a comment below. What do you think 3i Atlas tells us about other solar systems? Like this video, subscribe for more deep dives into astronomy, and share it with a fellow stargazer. Thanks for joining me on this journey. The stars await.